Hi guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super easy flower that's perfect for amigurumi accents. Here are a few of the patterns that I use this flower in. This is also great for a crocheted wreath or even to add to a simple birthday card. Supplies for this flower will be yarn, a crochet hook, some scissors, and a yarn needle. I usually use worsted weight yarn with an E size hook, but for this tutorial I'll be using bigger, thicker yarn with a bigger hook. I'm going to start the flower with a magic circle, and I'll show you my favorite technique if you don't have one. I'm going to start out with a slip knot, wrapping the yarn around two fingers and crisscrossing at the top. I'm going to hold that tail with my ring finger, and then I'm going to push the back piece to the front. Pull up on that piece of yarn, and you'll be able to tighten it at the base. Using your tail, you can loosen it or tighten it. So here I'm going to get set up with my yarn and I'm going to place my middle finger into that circle, into that loop. I'm going to hold the tail again with my ring finger and then I'm going to insert my hook underneath the yarn. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That is connecting my yarn with a chain. So now we're going to make three single crochet into this loop. So we're going to do one single crochet here. We're going to yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through. So that is our first single crochet. To make our second, we're going to insert our hook in, inside the loop. We're going to yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. So now we have two single crochet. Here, if things are feeling a bit odd, you can take your fingers out and then you can just continue. To make our last single crochet, we're gonna insert our hook. We're gonna yarn over, pull through, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both loops on the hook. Now we have three single crochet in a magic circle. From here, you can pull this yarn towards you and then give it a little tug to tighten it. Here, we'll count our stitches. Here is one V two V's and our third V here. This little blob here is just that chain stitch that got us started, so we can ignore that. Since we are starting with three stitches, it can be a little tricky. As you can see here, when you begin that first stitch, you feel like you're pulling. So make sure that your yarn is taut against your hook and just insert your hook into that stitch. So for this flower, we are going to make three double crochet and then a slip stitch into this first stitch. So I will go slow here if you don't know how to make a double crochet. For a double crochet, you want to yarn over and then place your hook underneath both loops of that first stitch. Then you're going to yarn over again, pull through, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, you'll have two loops left on the hook, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through the last two loops. So that is one double crochet. We are going to make another double crochet in the same stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook underneath both loops of that first stitch, yarn over again, we're going to have three loops on our hook, yarn over and go through two loops only, because it's a double crochet, yarn over and pull through the last remaining two loops. So that's our second double crochet. We're going to make a third double crochet into that same stitch, yarn over, go through the stitch, Yarn over, pull up, you'll have three loops on the hook, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two more loops. So now we're going to make a slip stitch into that same stitch that we just worked the double crochet. Just to make sure you see here, we don't look like we have enough room, but we're going to get in there. So insert your hook, yarn over, 
and then instead of yarning over you're just going to pull right through your stitch moving on we're going to do the same exact thing in the next stitch so we're going to do three double crochet and a slip stitch all in that same stitch so remember what you learned just yarning over and going through the stitch this is our first double crochet our second and our third double crochet now we're gonna make a slip stitch in that same stitch it does get a little tight and you can do it So yarn over, pull up, and then go right through that stitch. I'm getting a little caught, but we'll get there. Now we're going to be going into our last stitch, which is right here. It's our third single crochet. We're going to do three double crochet again and a slip stitch. So this is our first double crochet. Our second. And feel free to pause the video if you need to slow down and this is our third and then we're gonna make one slip stitch from here I'm just gonna tighten up the middle with my tail and then I'm gonna leave a long piece of yarn and just give it a snip I'm gonna fasten off by yarning over and pulling my yarn all the way through I like to give it a little tug just to tighten it. From here, weave in one of the tails with your into your yarn needle, and then we're gonna weave through into the back just until we meet the middle. So weave that piece through, and then you can weave your other tail into your yarn needle. And then also weave that piece so that you meet in the back towards the middle. This way you have enough yarn to attach it to a head or you can even wrap it around their neck as a necklace. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more crochet tutorials or crochet alongs, please subscribe to my channel. For free crochet patterns, please head over to yarnsociety.com.